Okay, a first time ever. The ferry's closed. I've never had this. And uh, the only time we actually check if it's open is in incl inclement weather. Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome back to the Project 201 update. Uh, this is not a Schickster video series, but you'll see them in there because we were together on this weekend. But it's just the Project 201 update, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Although we did have an interesting conversation on the way home, but that's for another Schickster video. So let's check out uh, the Kentucky 201 farm update and see we, where we are at. Uh, the first thing we did is we're getting a new furnace. It's, it's a small furnace, but it's gonna have heat and AC. We decided to bite the bullet and get that done, you know, just so you could stay overnight there and if we ever wanna rent it or do things like that. So that's the first thing that should be getting done hopefully this week, if not next week. Let's get into the trip. All right, here we are, about to hit the ferry. Schickster's pretty excited to go to Kentucky, and we're about to hit the ferry, so let's check it out. What, what the what? What's this? What the hell? The ferry is closed? You said it's always open. It is. It's always open, and if it's closed, they put out like these email alerts to people you know who sign up so it's not it's never ever been closed before man is this the kind of chic luck you're bringing us i don't know what to say man i told you we should have took the bridge you wouldn't listen to me if i'd have taken the bridge you don't complain about how long it was but now and we'll how long. narrow they are these are narrow bridges now look here. how long it's going to take us yeah but well, now we got to go all the way around should have listened to me. Shit happens, man. Ain't no doubt about that. There's a nice little farm for sale right there. Wait, never mind. There's no land for sale down here. There's no land for sale where in our area where we live. Just at least they're driving Kubotas down here. Kubota. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A first time ever. The ferry's closed. I've never had this. And uh, the only time we actually check if it's open is in incl inclement weather, because otherwise they have a backup ferry that's supposed to be open. So uh, now we got to swing around a long way. So I don't know if that's the backup one or the good one. Bummer. Okay, so we had to go the long way around around to the Shawnee Town Bridge which I personally have never been on it added about another uh, 45 or 50 miles to the trip um, but on the way back it was shorter because on the way there we had to backtrack and get to this bridge so let's get across the bridge into Kentucky and go from there okay so let's put the drone up here and check out the fields basically we have roughly 11 acres of newly planted soybeans up here spread out in four different fields so the first field you're going to see here is the one on the left of these front two so um and this is kind of the way i'm confirming that they planted the right fields because i kind of drew them a map and it looks like they got it all right which is really good and the second field is going to be this basically the one on the right of these two the center one this long and narrow one uh, it's about a two acre field so to give you some perspective on the size of it hopefully this one is big enough to where they can't eat it down you know before the end of the season or worse yet before the season even begins but that's yet to be seen so the third field is up here this long narrow one um, it's planted all the way to the end of the field here all right we're out at the Kentucky farm uh, it's like July 6th or 7th and you could see uh, these food plot fields are browning up a little we got soybeans beans planted in them I saw a couple of them peeking out here just starting to peek out we got rain the last two days so they're really good and moist let's see if we could find something here so you see here's a spot where they 
a bunch came out of the planter, but you see they're starting to take root already. That batch is like right here. That's one starting to grow. So they're just, just starting. See, there's a nice one right there. Right there. So yes, this is the beginning of hopefully a fantastic year and a fantastic fall out here. Um, I don't have an acreage count on this, but basically the total is around 11 acres. So I'm keeping a green patch in between these two plots here. And that's actually quite a long distance between them. And they can't see each other from those fields because they're separated by quite a bit of green space, if you will. So let's just take a little bit of a closer look. Um, the fields were a little bit off from what I drew on the maps, but they will still um, perform their objectives, especially if for rifle hunting anyways or shotgunning. But for And for those of you following the Polaris, the overheating thing, uh, I think we solved it. I went through a puddle here about 10 minutes ago, um, kind of a deep one just a little puddle and about five minutes later it started overheating it started going up you know 175 is usually where it runs 185 195 199 so I turned it off and turned it back on and it went all the way back down to 174 so I think that the people who said about the recall with the fan quitting in water I think that's what the problem is or was so I'll get that taken care of hopefully soon. Crossbow or bow, it, you might have to change things around just a little. So we'll take a little bit of closer look at this one. I don't remember, I think this one was only like an acre and three quarters or so, give or take. Um, and then for you John Deere fans, I'm gonna run and check out their nice new John Deere tractor. It's a 5000 E series. And for those of you that don't know, John Deere made an E-Series, which is the Economy Series, because they, they tried to compete with some other tractor brands, and they made the Economy Series. So let's swoop down and check it out quick.